Melissa here again from Pottsville Physio. Today we're going to talk about breathing and migraine and headaches. So I see hundreds and hundreds of people that are suffering with headache and migraine and nearly all of them I notice that they've got a really poor breathing pattern. So what we often see in these people is that they're breathing too rapidly, so breathing in and out too fast and usually breathing in and out quite shallow using these upper muscles. So the neck muscles are getting really overworked instead of using their nice bilateral muscles down here, using their diaphragm to get that breath right down into the base of the lungs. So something if you do suffer from headache and migraine, you can start to be aware of is how you're breathing. So normal breathing looks like this. It's silent. No one should be able to hear you breathe. You should be breathing in and out through your nose all of the time. And we shouldn't be able to see your shoulders move when you breathe. Normal breathing rate is eight to 12 breaths per minute. So it's hard to measure your breathing because as soon as you become aware of it, you tend to slow down. But if you can get a friend or a family member to try to measure your breathing, maybe if they just put their hand on your um, shoulder or something, they can feel the breath when you're not expecting it. So they're getting a good clear indication of your true breath rate and just see how many breaths per minute you're taking. So often I'll see people that are taking upward of 15 breaths per minute all of the time when remember our normal value is between 8 to 12 breaths and this has got biochemical consequences with our oxygen carbon dioxide balance um, but we can talk about this another day so what I really want you to focus on is silent breathing in and out through the nose slowing it down so you're getting to that 8 to 12 breaths per minute and trying to breathe right down into the base of the lungs so we want that diaphragm to be controlling the breath you want to see your abdomen just gently moving in and out imagine when you're watching a little baby breathe you can see their little tummy going up and down we don't want to be forcing that but this is where we should be seeing the breathing happening definitely not up here. So it might be worth just standing in front of the mirror and just breathing and seeing where it's, where it's happening. So we don't wanna see these muscles overactive. We don't wanna see these shoulders coming up and down. So that's some homework for you guys to try to just be a little bit more aware of your breathing patterns.